Hey everyone, my name is Jonathan and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm a first year PhD student at the University of Waterloo. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my desk setup for the winter 2021 semester. Now, because of COVID and online learning, I'm right now staying at my parents' place. So you'll see that in this video, I have some pieces of my desk setup that aren't my ideal choice, but I've made the most of my situation and I'm really loving my desk setup. It's a great place to play video games, study of course, and to edit my videos. First off, I put the desk on the main floor of the house. I have a dog named Lola and she spends most of her time on the main floor. And since I'm gonna be studying most of the day, I wanted to stay close to her. Now the desk is also positioned in front of these two huge windows in the room. It's great to open the blinds and get some sun in the morning and having a view of the street is a lot better than staring into a blank wall. Although the streets of Oakville aren't that exciting compared to a big city, having that view and looking outside is still a lot better than no view at all. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the desk. Now you can probably see that the desk is absolutely huge. My dad really wanted a huge desk to match the color on his bookshelves. As you can see, it looks like one of those giant desks you might see in a law office. It's huge, it's big, and it's definitely not my first choice of a desk, but I will say it does offer a lot of space for my stuff. I have a monitor, my computer, and there's still plenty of room for the keyboard and my arms. Now the mouse pad is actually one of the newer additions to the desk setup. It's from SteelSeries and I believe it's an extra large mouse pad. There are actually a lot of things that I love about this mouse pad. First off, it's a great centerpiece that kind of frames where I'll be working on the desk. It's black, it's super sleek, and it's very minimalistic with only a little SteelSeries logo in the bottom right corner. Second, it's super soft and it feels great to rest your forearms on the mouse pad as you are studying. And third, it's great for playing FPS. There's a lot of space for you to move your mouse around. The mouse doesn't feel like it's dragging against the cloth. It's super smooth. And I've been playing a lot of Valorant recently and I'm just having a great experience with this mouse pad. I had a regular sized mouse pad before and I can definitely say that I much prefer this extra large one than a regular size one. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is my monitor. Now, I got this monitor from my dad. It is a 27 inch ASUS Designo MX279H. Now the monitor is pretty old, it's from 2014, but it's surprisingly the best monitor I have in the house. I had this monitor when I was living in Toronto and I've grown very comfortable with using it. 27 inches is the perfect size for me. It is big enough to have everything I need on the screen without stretching my vision and making me uncomfortable. I've tried using an ultra wide monitor before and sometimes I feel like they're just too wide for me. The screen is really bright, the colors pop out and it's really good for gaming. On this monitor, I've played League of Legends, Valorant, Call of Duty Warzone, and it's been a really good experience. I also really like the design of the monitor. It has really thin bezels, and I really dig the chrome exterior on the base and the bottom of the monitor. Now, one thing I wish this monitor had was vase and mount support. I think it would look really great if it was on a monitor arm, but unfortunately, it does not. So right now, I'm using this glass and metallic stand that I got from Amazon. The stand is really sturdy, it looks really nice, it has a nice minimal look to it, and it matches the design of the monitor. Unfortunately, it does take up a bunch of space on my desk and it's not wide enough for me to actually put my keyboard under it if I need that extra space for my iPad. But overall, I really like the monitor. I think the stand is great and I think it's a good recommendation for anyone. Now, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is my DIY webcam. And since we're all working from home these days, having a webcam is actually a very hot commodity. If you want a good webcam, they can definitely be really expensive, especially the Logitech ones. And the ones that you find on Amazon seem really cheap and not that great. So what I would strongly recommend is that if you need a temporary webcam for some meetings, I would actually use my phone. So right now as my webcam, I'm using my old iPhone 7 Plus. I downloaded an app called Epoch Cam, and what it does is it takes your front facing camera or your rear facing camera and turns it into a webcam. All you need to do is download the app, connect the phone to your computer, and it should automatically work. What's great is that the camera quality on the iPhone Plus is probably gonna be a lot better than the webcam quality that you'll find online. So definitely try to use your phone and you can save yourself a lot of money. Now the newest addition to the desk setup is actually my headset. Right now I'm rocking the Corsair HS50 Pro Stereo headset. I use this headset for class, for any meetings I have with my professors, and for gaming. The mic and audio quality are pretty good and overall the headset is very comfortable. The ear cups are leather and super soft and there's also a nice leather band on the top of the headset. The headset is also very black and it doesn't have that kind of gimmicky gamer look. So I think it looks pretty professional. One thing I'll say is that when I first wore the headset, 
I did feel that the sides were clamping on my head a lot and it was a little bit uncomfortable, but after a few days of wearing it consistently, they've really loosened up and now they hug my head pretty comfortably. I also keep my iPad on my desk and it's been a great complement to my main monitor. Right now, I am rocking the 2018 iPad Pro. So whenever I'm studying on my desktop computer, I'll just have my iPad on the side, either with some lo-fi music, maybe a hockey game, maybe a stream, just some sort of nice casual background entertainment uh, to keep studying entertaining. If I ever need to take physical notes or if I'm reading a paper, I'll simply move my keyboard to the side, bring my iPad in front of me, and then use my Apple Pencil with my iPad. I've had this iPad for almost a year now, and I gotta say, it's probably one of the best purchases I've made in my life. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is my keyboard, and this is my first mechanical keyboard that I've ever purchased. It is the HyperX Alloy FPS Pro TKL Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. The keys and keyboard are really well built. It has Cherry MX Red switches. It only lights up as red, which is totally fine because red is my favorite color. And I really like that it's TKL because it has a nice small form factor and I don't use a number pad anyways. Now the keys are really clicky, which is something I definitely like, but I will say that it doesn't sound as nice as some of your more expensive mechanical keyboards out there. But overall, I really like the keyboard and I definitely don't see myself switching to another one anytime soon. Next, I'm gonna talk about my mouse. And for my mouse, I am using a Logitech G403 Progeny Wired Gaming Mouse. Now, this is the first gaming mouse that I ever purchased and I'm really enjoying it. The size is big enough for my hand, so it feels really comfortable. The left and right mouse click are really clicky and tactile and it glides super smoothly on my mouse mat. I currently use this mouse for League of Legends, for Valorant, and it's been working really well for me and I definitely recommend it. Now, the crown jewel of the desk is going to be my PC. Now, this is the first PC that I ever built, and I can thank a couple of friends for getting me into PC building and helping me build it for the first time. When I first started off this PC build, it was a really basic one. I really just built it for League of Legends, so it had really minimal specs. However, I made a couple of upgrades, so now my PC can handle much more better games, as well as helping me edit my videos. So in terms of specs, it has an ASUS Prime B450-A motherboard, an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, a Corsair VS550 power supply, a Radeon RX 580 GPU, and a G-Scale 16 gigs of RAM. Obviously, you can see there's some RGB in there, which I'm really digging right now. I don't have an LED strip inside, but I am thinking of buying one just to make it more colorful. Now this PC is great for editing, playing games, and obviously studying and maybe down the line, I'll consider upgrading the GPU. With that being said, that is my 2021 desk setup. I gotta say, I really like how my desk setup looks right now. I spend so much time on my desk and it's a great place to get work done, but also have fun. If you guys have any recommendations on what I can do to improve my desk setup, then definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed the content, then consider subscribing to the channel. We're almost at 100 subscribers, so I'm super excited for that milestone. Hit that thumbs up button because it really helps me out and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of my future YouTube videos. I'm thinking of having this video as a rolling series, as I move to Waterloo or as the years pass, how my desk setup changes, and it'll be really cool to compare my current desk setup to past desk setups that I've had. Anyways, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.